Today I'm going to be telling you about Plotly. This is a really cool little hex integration that creates a special graph card that you can use in your Home Assistant to create custom graphs, graphing multiple different sensors on one graph. And you can even do all sorts of cool things using YAML code if you want to go that far. So I was introduced to the Plotly graph card by one of the listeners on my live stream this morning. So a big thank you. Now, having a look here, as you can see, it's a hex integration. And look at some of the cool sort of things that they're doing here with these graphs. Look at this. You can have multiple different entities coming in and you can track information. Really easy to install, just a matter of downloading the hex component. One thing is you do need to have Hex installed. I will leave a link in the description for people that haven't yet installed the Hex system. So once you've installed it, um, you can create basic graphs with multiple entities. However, when you want to start doing things like this, having fills and different stuff like that, you would need to start pasting some YAML code in for these additional configurations so i'm not going to cover that today but i'll show you how easy it was for me to get this up and running so we start by going to hex and then we search for plotly there we go plotly graph card we'll just download that so once you've downloaded all you need to do is go into edit and add a card and now all i do is i search over here for my custom plotly graph card so there was no need to restart home assistant because this is just adding a new card um, so we'll call this temperature slash humidity so what i want to show you is how you can actually track two different uh, sensors working together and over here you can select how many hours you want to show so let's go for uh, two days for example let's say 48 hours and I can select my entities here so I'm going to select a humidity sensor within so I'll look at the supply air that's coming into my house through my heat recovery system supply humidity versus supply temperature so there we go and look at that already already it's basically giving us an amazing graph so we just go save there we go easy as that and here is our new graph we'll just close out of that now watch what we can do here so this is very interesting so basically temperature and humidity are inversely related i.e when temperature goes up humidity falls and this is a really cool thing to be able to track on a graph with two different entities working together like this so now that we've got our graph there all we need to do is we can actually go and change things within this so we can basically zoom in we can zoom out these are basic functionalities that it's brought in we can also auto scale so we can force it to take advantage of the spacings and the scaling there another thing we can do is we can zoom in so i can select an area so i might want to select this small area and i can zoom in on that and there we go it zooms in I can just press the undo button. I can also move along here so I can go back in time to see previous information that has occurred. So anyway, that's a really brief introduction to Plotly for today. Um, as I said, with YAML, you can do all sorts of cool stuff, but um, we'll leave that for another day. Anyway, that's all enough for now. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.